What's up everybody, and in this video I'm going to be talking about whether Ubuntu 19.04 is worth upgrading to or not. Um, this video is probably not going to be very long. So, um, Ubuntu 19.04 is not a long-term support release, or LTS release, which means it is not supported for... I don't even think it's supported for an entire year, actually. Um, there might be some sort of extended support thing, just like there is with the LTSs. I don't know for sure, but I don't think it's supported for an entire year. But is it worth upgrading to? So if you are using Ubuntu 18.10, which will be like losing support, I think in like a couple days, maybe a month or something. Um... Might still be a couple months, but I don't think it will be. If you're using Ubuntu 18.10, yes, it's worth upgrading to 19.04, but you should be very careful to make sure that your hardware works with it. And I was hoping to have 19.04 installed onto my computer in this video, but that just didn't happen. My computer is one of those few computers that are not working on it. I would install and it would boot. Um, it installed and booted successfully twice, but yeah, it didn't, uh, I, I tried it eight times and it didn't uh, work for six of those times. So if there's any Ubuntu developers watching this right now, the hardware in my computer, just so you know, is the ASRock 970-3.1. Uh, um, motherboard. And then my graphics card is the GTX 1050 Ti. And then the CPU is the AMD FX 6300. Now, I have... I think... I, I think that the thing that is messing it up... The, me, the biggest thing that's messing it up is the graphics card drivers and the detectability of the graphics card or something. I think it has to do with the detection of the graphics card that it's not working very well. Um, cause when I started doing it with the drivers, uh, I had it so it installed third party drivers and everything, uh, it wouldn't boot. Uh, when I first, uh, unchecked the installed third party drivers was the first time it successfully booted and it was working perfectly fine. Uh, but then I was, uh, stupid enough to install it again and see if it would work again. And it didn't, it was doing the same thing as before, um, which was odd. And then I kept going, kept kept trying for like two times or something, and I decided to check the install normal version in sh instead of the minimal install. Um, and then it worked, but then I installed the NVIDIA graphics drivers, and it didn't work after that. So I don't know if it's the drivers, it might even be the motherboard, uh, I don't know. That would the motherboard would actually explain some of the things that was going on, but I also think that the drivers are messed up too. So if there's any Ubuntu developers watching this, that's the hardware in my computer. I also have 22 gigabytes of RAM, and for some reason my motherboard says it's a dual channel, although two of the sticks are a different size. I mean, maybe for some reason my motherboard supports dual channel for just two of them, even if there's four sticks of RAM in. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so it didn't work on my computer, basically, and that's one reason why some people may not want to upgrade to it. Um, if you are worried about support, I would recommend waiting until 19.04.1, because usually that has a lot of uh, support fixed, but I'm not going to be updating to it on my main machine, because uh, that just ruined the experience. <laughs> that just ruined it. Um, I may get a different hardware computer to use for testing distros, but for now on, it's going to be a virtual machine. Um, but yeah, just to answer the question, 18.04 is worth it for people who do not need an LTS release and who don't really care about st stability. Um, and for any people who are beginners to Linux out there who are wondering what Ubuntu version to install, you should install 18.04 if you are going for stock Ubuntu. 
um, it has the best support, um, and it will be supported by Ubuntu for the next four years. Uh, and then I think if you pay, you can get another five years added onto that. That's basically just for businesses. And then every two years, there's a new LTS release, so you can up you can upgrade every two years. So yeah, 18.10, you can get it if you want it. That's basically what I'm saying in this video. Just be aware. It's not that stable. So I think that's all for this video. I uh, hope you liked the video. Hope you liked uh, the face cam action going on. If you did, let me know. Also, let me know if there's a way to fix the lag for these videos with the NV Ink. But yeah, it lags on OBS. If you know a way to fix that, tell me. I'm currently doing X264. If you guys like the video, um, hit that like button. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. I uh, hope you did like the video, though, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video.